Open Nuke has been a huge success. Even now, two days on, the European server is still full of life, with terrorists and CTs working together to boost each other to the far corners of the map. The domes are easier than you'd expect to climb, thanks to the ladders that have been added around the outside pipes. But because of this, it's been the inside of the dome that people have enjoyed the most. Starting at the foot of the ramp room, 20 people work together to boost each other higher and higher up. Nuke was never designed with this in mind, yet it's surprising how well planned out this ascent feels. The clipping gets a bit dodgy in places. You can walk entirely inside this valve, please fix, and it's annoying to have one of your jumps blocked by something sticking out about a centimetre from the wall. But after much teamwork and many head boosts, I reached the top and can safely say it's achievable with default gravity and a bunch of good teammates with solid heads. It's been really nice to play the game in this manner. The chat is full of people messing about and having fun, and it's something that's been distinctly lacking for me in the competitive modes for many years now. The community for this game is still here, it just needs server settings and a map designed for teamwork to make it really shine. This dome above ramp room is proof that CSGO doesn't need to be all death and explosions for it to still be fun.